Hi, I'm Donghyun Kim from University of Connecticut. I'm glad to present my research to all of you. My research is creation of corrosion prediction model for structure applications. I would like to begin with the background of my research. Among various structure applications, my research is focused on the bridge corrosion. Bridge replacement due to corrosion or degradation of materials has been issued of Department of Transportation, Connecticut, up to $8.3 billion to maintain or replace safe condition of bridge. It is crucially important to predict bridge corrosion, but it is cr truly complicated to predict corrosion because several corrosion protection methods such as cathodic protections, galvanizing, paint layer, cause different method of different corrosion mechanism. To build a corrosion prediction model, I plan three steps of corrosion testing. First of all, I need experimental data from actual samples so that I did accelerated corrosion testing, which is well known wet dry cycle test. Second of all, I conducted potential dynamic polarization testing to measure corrosion current, corrosion potential. Based on these results, I can calculate corrosion rate of each of steels. Lastly, I planned electrochemical impedance spectroscopy to absorb the surface phenomena and it helps me to know corrosion layer and electrolyte resistance. In my research, three different types of materials were used. A36, A58, A, and I95 cubic samples with these with three different types of conditions, which is oxidized, polished, and scratch painted wet scratch corrosion testing. At the seawater conditions, all the surfaces quite uniformly corroded, but 3.5% sodium chloride condition is not that uniform as you can see. Also, pitting corrosion below the paint layer is observed. These are, the, these are my sample's potential dynamic polarization curve. Iron oxide is not a passive film, so we can't, we can see the short passive reason. In the curve, usually corrosion potential interpret as a how easily corrosion happened and current interpret as how severe corrosion happened. The more negative corrosion potential, the more amount of reaction which is easily corroded. The higher corrosion current, the more amount of corrosion due to higher current. Oxidized sample occupy more negative corrosion potential and has lower corrosion current, which means oxidized samples are more easily corroded and the amount of corrosion is lower than that of polished one. Still, still there are a lot of things to analyze from this curve and I'm trying to do more things with it. Eventually, my bridge corrosion project final goal is create precise corrosion prediction model of bridge steel using all of the information including accelerated corrosion testing, relative weight change, electrochemical data, and simulation and 3D scanning. Thank you.